This is Drew with thepodcastingstore.com, your one-stop shop for all things podcasting and remote learning. Well, greetings and welcome to another one of our exploratory videos as we're looking at the Zoom F3 specifically. I'm going to show, uh, this is a revision of an earlier video that I did uh, talking about connecting it into your iPhone. And I need to revise some of the stuff that I did on that. The conclusion of that video was that if you wanted to hook it into your iPhone, you could do it through the line out. And that worked out beautifully. Uh, but there were some suggestions that there was other solutions and I hadn't fully explored them yet. And I'll get into the, the why uh, of what it happen with that and some uh, some troubleshooting tips when you're having those problems. Uh, but before we start, I want to show you the setup. I've got, as always, I've got the Zoom here. I've got the iPhone here that we're going to uh, attempt to record into. And then uh, up here, I've got the microphone that's going into the Zoom. Uh, this is not the audio that you're hearing here in the video. I've got my Heil PR40 for that. This is the Audio Technica 2100X, which I'm using in its USB form, excuse me, in its XLR format into the Zoom because that's the input it takes. So the Zoom is recording mono um, and just on track one. I know we did some stereo videos uh, prior. That's not what we're doing today. So um, I'm going to rehash what we did before. Uh, when I was trying to hook the Zoom into the iPhone, I actually was using this cable here. Um, which I got off of Amazon. And it's just a it's a USB uh, C to uh, lightning. And I figured that if anything was going to get the job done, that might. And so I'll demonstrate how that works and what we did. So uh, the first thing that we're going to do for all of this is we're going to put the Zoom F3 field recorder into uh, interface mode. And then we're going to do it as a tablet. So when you're using it with your smartphone, the tablet mode is the recommended one. And then we hook the USB-C cable into the output, and then we put the lightning into the iPhone. And I'm using, again, this is all proof of concept stuff that I'm doing here. So I'm using the um, voice recorder, the voice memo function on that, and uh, so that we can see what that does or what it doesn't do. So first, to prove what's going on here with the Zoom, so this microphone is definitely going into there. Don't try this at home. And um, if we uh, hit record without it plugged in over on the iPhone, um, you can see that it's picking me up on the iPhone mic, and the other way to test that out is this. So you see how that waveform is registering there? If I tap my microphone here, nothing. So I know for a fact that the iPhone is recording internally from the built-in microphone on it. So if I uh, hook in the USB-C to lightning cable on here, So we can see that the iPhone still seems to be picking up signal, but where is it coming from? Is it coming from this mic or is it coming from the phone? So we'll do our simple test again. So again, you can see that the Zoom is definitely registering this microphone. That's not the problem, but the iPhone isn't. This cable doesn't work. So I kind of <clears throat> abandoned the project there uh, because I had had a previous um, attempt at hooking up a... Um, a USB-C, or USB-A rather, item into the iPhone and it just didn't work. And I figured that there was something about the wiring, the circuitry and all that. And the thing that I had been using uh, for that was a uh, iPhone camera adapter. So on a whim, I just decided this time, what the heck, let's try something slightly different here. So I picked up this adapter here. This is a USB-C to lightning here. I'll actually go back there so you can see that better. So it's USB-C. I know the camera does weird things uh, to lightning. And uh, I've got a picture of it right there. And so what we're going to do with that is we're going to take a um, USB-C to USB-A cable. And I have one of these that came with the Rode Wireless Go. And I tried this before and I thought that it didn't work and that's why I hadn't tried it again. But I'm going to put the adapter on the end of that and then we'll hook this in here and then we'll plug it in here. And then if we hit resume, so it's gonna resume the recording, something's happening here. So we're definitely getting signal, as you can see on the Zoom, Oops, resume, on the Zoom um, over here from what I'm talking to the microphone. But is it coming from the microphone or is it into the uh, iPhone or is it coming uh, from the iPhone built-in microphone?
we've now successfully connected the Zoom F3 field recorder into the iPhone. So troubleshooting this, what I discovered was um, the cable that I had been using previously to try to do uh, this function with a different item, the cable itself was bad, and I'd completely forgotten about that. I actually had an adapter, uh, which I will show you here to demonstrate in a second. It actually, I'll oh, come out to here. Um, and so all I'm going to do here uh, is change out the end here. And this adapter is one that we actually have at the podcasting store. Uh, and that's the iPhone camera adapter. So see, I just hook it in just like that. Oh, I got a picture of it right there. And that's you know, straight from the site. So uh, I didn't bother trying this adapter because I figured the adapter didn't work for this function. Well, as it turned out, it was just my cable that was bad because watch this. So that adapter works. We had it the whole time. Uh, so the troubleshooting that I should have done the first time on this and I didn't uh, was a little more involved than what I did is I know for a fact that the signal is going from the microphone into the zoom. We can see that by the wave patterns. So that's not the problem. So this mic, this cable into that unit is working just fine. But then outputting from there into the iPhone, there's a bunch of different things that are going on there. And you need to be able to convert that signal uh, from the USB-C output into the USB, into the lightning. And the intermediary step that works is by going to the USB-A um, and then into an adapter that then goes from USB-A to lightning. There's some kind of circuitry, and I do not understand it. Uh, if anyone does, please comment on this. Um, that transforms that signal as it's coming out of the USB-C and lets it talk to the lightning. Lightning is really complex and it does a whole, whole bunch of different things. Um, the USB stuff is a little more standardized, but the cable that goes directly from USB-C to lightning did not get the job done. And near as I can figure, it, that's meant to be more of a charging cable or maybe a data transfer, but it, it just doesn't transfer this kind of stuff. Um, so the troubleshooting that I should have done after I hooked it up with the adapter and it didn't work on the phone is I should have tried another cable, another USB-C to USB-A, and see if that worked. And if that didn't work, then try a different adapter. And if that didn't work, then kind of come to the conclusion that maybe this actually doesn't work. But that's the process that I use. So yes, there's now um, two... Uh, ways, at least that I've verified, for hooking the uh, Zoom F3 field recorder into your iPhone. You can use the line out, which has the bonus, as I've mentioned in the previous video, of being able to record the internal SD card, or you can use it as an interface in uh, tablet uh, P in tablet mode, and um, that will go into your phone uh, from the USB-C into uh, into the uh, lightning using the proper adapter and the proper cable and one that is not broken. So hopefully you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching. As always, like, share, subscribe. Uh, tell me what you think. Tell me other ideas that you have for other videos, and I'd be happy to try to get those out for you, and we'll catch up with you next time. If you're facing a unique problem with podcasting or remote learning, we can help. Reach out to us at thepodcastingstore.com and we'll see what solutions we can find for you. And if you like what you hear, do me a favor and tell a friend. Follow us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and sign up for our e-newsletter and you'll never miss another podcast or video again. This is Drew with thepodcastingstore.com. Thank you for listening.